Stan Jabalisco here. I just uh, came across some interesting websites uh, that have to do with color blindness. There are a lot of different uh, websites out there that will allow you to test yourself to see whether or not you are color blind. And there are apparently lots of different varieties of color blindness. So I took one of these tests, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, and because I wanted to see whether or not I was normal, or whether I was colorblind. Now, keep in mind that this a test like this can only be as good as the display that you are using it on. I use it on this iPad display, which I think is pretty good. But I don't know for certain that my computer display isn't itself a bit colorblind. Uh, you never really know these things um, unless you get them tested uh, by an engineer. And of course, you never know if you're really colorblind or not unless you get tested by an ophthalmologist. But according to one of these tests, the one that I took, it it drug me through quite a lot of of images that I had to look at and see what number, if any, I saw uh, amongst the various colored dots. And uh, it gave me a choice, but it only gave me a few seconds to choose each one. I went through that test and it took a good solid three, four, five minutes. Good long drag through to build the suspense. Because some of the images to me I couldn't see any numbers. And that was one of the choices. Um, I'm not sure, or I don't see anything. I think were two of the choices, something like that. And I, I went through the test, and it turned out that according to this test, the combination of my eyesight connected in series with the color rendition of my display has a certain rare form of purple-yellow color blindness. And that doesn't mean I can't tell the difference between purple and yellow, but I apparently can't tell the difference between shades of, certain shades of yellow and certain shades of purple. The correlation between the true visible light wavelength spectrum and what I see is not exactly perfect. Um, I don't know if anybody has perfect vision, but I've lived for almost 64 years with this defect, and uh, if it is a, a defect, and uh, never suffered any kind of problem that I know of as a result. Maybe I suffered some problems I don't know of uh, as a result. Maybe that's why I couldn't get that, get that crush I had when I was ten years old. <laughs> maybe, maybe because it's when I was yellow-purple colorblind. It, uh, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, after it's drug you through this test, this long test, to build a suspense in your brain that you, uh, you wonder whether you're normal or not, it, it'll, try, it'll almost invariably try to sell you something. I mean, after all, what would be the point of making any website if you didn't make any money, unless you were a fool like Stan Jabalisco, who does all this for free? Or does he? Well, you know, maybe you'll buy more of my books. Maybe I should write a book, Color Blindness, and then say, uh, if you want to find out more, but, but I don't have such a book, so I can't... Uh, but you could draw, uh, buy my book... Uh, Teach yourself electricity and electronics. There you go. See, I drug you through all this just to tell you that. But really, you can buy these glasses that will supposedly help you see color better, and or and or make the colors that you do see more vivid. And they sound like they'd sort of be fun to buy, whether you were color blind or not. And uh, of course. I could go out gambling the night in Deadwood, too, uh, and I'd probably have a good time, spend a little money, but it's not something I do 
because I don't have any extra money anymore. And same thing with color glasses. But uh, and and I do not put any financial information. That I don't absolutely have to on the internet. But still, they do sound kind of cool. But check out these websites anyhow, and see whether or not you're normal. See whether or not, see what they might do to you in some societies if you have color blindness. It was kind of shocking. Uh, and, and I, I won't say what, what they might do to you. They would spoil the suspense and then I couldn't sell you anything. Check it out. Maybe you want to get some of these glasses. Might be fun. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.